Hi, I'm Shane Jolly and welcome to Luxury Escapes, a series that takes you on a journey to the world's best holiday. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of LA Live. I'm joined here today uh, by three colleagues, uh, certainly very well-traveled colleagues. I've got Ashley to my right. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Hello. Good. Good to see you again today. And Dan, how are you today? Good, thanks, Mike. How are you? Very well, thank you. And Hazel, how are you going? I'm fantastic. Good. Good to hear. And we are here to talk about some extraordinary uh, offers and some of our most exciting destinations. Certainly destinations that we've uh, been celebrating a lot at Luxury Escapes lately, but one in particular, we had a huge amount of feedback from our recent Sydney Roadshow and a number of inquiries about, and that of course is Hawaii. So what an awesome destination, obviously um, about an eight hour flight, I hope I get that right. I've been there a couple of times, but I must admit- 10 hours, yeah. Hours. It's 10 hours. I was living in the US when I wa last went there. Um, Dan, how many times have you been to Hawaii? Probably been there about four times. It's um, a great spot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, amazing place. Um, so many different experiences between the shopping, the beaches, the surfing, um, the exploring. So yeah, great holiday destination. And um, we've got an amazing package to get people there as well too. Fantastic. And we're also going to be talking about uh, Bali and we've got a fantastic property in Dubai that we'll speak about. And of course, one of our favourites down in Thailand. Hazel, you were in Dubai not long ago. Tell us very quickly, what do you love about Dubai? Uh, Dubai was really surprising. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more than you expect. People expect just this city metropolis, but there's beaches and there's water and then there's the desert experience on top of it. So yeah, really surprising. Well worth a visit. Fantastic, Ashley. Now, four, four deals today, which is going to be a lot of fun um, and different price points. What is your, uh, what is your favourite deal out of the one we, we're going to talk about, out of the ones we've got available today? And we'll, we'll start off with that. I would say it's actually the, one of the higher end ones is a Fairmont Sanua. Absolutely beautiful property. So it's in, it's in Bali, if anybody hasn't been to Sanua before. It's uh, kind of close to Nusa Dua. It's very exclusive, quiet resort, uh, really good for families, really good for couples. Fantastic. All right, so that's uh, Fairmont Sanoa in Bali. Uh, what do you think, Hazel? Bali's a pretty great place to go year-round, uh, but this property, it's a villa stay, isn't it? Yeah, this one's a bit different, and it's quite unusual for us to do something that caters for such big groups. We've got two different options that can cater for five or seven. You can actually add extra guests to that as well. So if you are traveling with extended family or um, a group of friends even, there's a couple of really good, very well-priced options. Fantastic. And Dan, um, you're actually off to Bali in a couple of weeks, isn't it? I next am. week? It, it, uh, two <laughs> weeks' time, yes. Trying to get out of the Melbourne winter. A little bit cold here for me right now, mm -hmm. so time to go get some sun. Um, Fairmont, for me, is, uh, I guess, a great international brand, and, and in particular, Sanua. Just a really, um, I guess, chilled location. So a little bit out of the hustle and bustle of Seminyak, but still, you know, getting that quintessential Bali experience. So great spot. Awesome. That sounds lovely. I'd love to be going to Bali myself. Um, so that's the Fairmont, uh, and it's actually the Fairmont Villas experience uh, in Sanua, and it's uh, $3,999, but it's actually valued, uh, or sorry, valid for five guests, which is fairly extraordinary. You can take the kids, or you can just go as a big group of friends and have a fairly extraordinary experience, and it's a six-night stay. Um, but we've got a fantastic question coming up here from Sarah Cook. Clearly, uh, clearly dialed into Facebook and listening to us here at LA Live. So we might as well jump straight into it and talk about Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I've been to only a couple of the islands though. I've been to uh, Oahu and then, um, I must admit, I don't know the name of the island. Where, where's Maui? Is that- um, That's an island. That's, well, is Maui the island? <laughs> Maui's, Maui's an island. island. Maui's the island. All right, well, I should know that. And I've been to Maui a couple of times and drove the beautiful road to Hana there, which was yeah. extraordinary. Um, now this, this offer, Dan, is, is fairly amazing. It's at a beautiful property. Tell us all about it. It's at the Marriott. Yeah, it's got a couple of things going for it. First of all, um, it's in Waikiki, Waikiki, which is obviously, I guess, one of the most well-known spots for Australians traveling to Hawaii. It's beachfront, so you're, you're right there in the heart of the action. Um, unusually for a Hawaiian property, we're including breakfast, which um, beautiful. people who haven't traveled to North America before, very high cost to uh, get, your, get your full buffet breakfast in the morning normally. Yeah, great. And we have ocean view rooms, which if 
you know, you're going to Hawaii for eight nights for me. I think having an ocean view room is really important. Waking up each morning to either a view of the Diamond, Diamond Head, beautiful sunken volcano, or uh, out to the Pacific Ocean. So, yeah, lots to do um, in that particular location. Um, oddly, it's probably one of the best places if you're in the world if you're wanting to learn to surf. Yeah. Um, probably 20 metres from your hotel, you've got one of the world's best surf beaches in terms of learn to surf. So, uh, shopping, nightlife, um, lots going on there at the Marit Waikiki. How good is that beach? It's um, it's certainly busy. Uh, we we won't deny that, but it's one of the the best beaches. That sand is extraordinary, and just a really really family friendly beach. And as you say, great place to surf. Yeah, the, I guess growing up here in Australia, we've got some some pretty hectic surf beaches. But uh, even though it is a great surf beach at uh, Waikiki, it's still a great spot just to paddle around in the water. And as you can see, we've got some great shots there showing us um, how good that is. Fantastic. Now. Um, where else in, in Hawaii should someone who's a first-time traveller to Hawaii check out, be it, be it in Oahu, close to Waikiki, or even those other islands? What do you think? For me, um, I guess outside of the shopping, so we've got some great outlet shopping centres there, which people looking for bargains are going to be go hunting them down. Yeah. I think um, heading up to the North Shore is a really interesting experience. So North Shore, Hawaii, where um, the, the, uh, the, the surf uh, championships are held up in um, Sunset Beach and uh, the beaches up there. And then completing a full loop back down to Waikiki, you get to go to some of the locations where Jurassic Park and a whole bunch of movies were filmed in that really, I guess, epic cliff faces with, um, uh, I guess if you've seen some of the uh, that those movies, you'd know what I'm talking about. But yeah, some stunning, stunning scenery there. Ashley, what do you think people are looking for out of a, a great family vacation? Because well, I personally think Hawaii is one of the best places to go for, for a family. Um, and what do you think... What do you think people should be looking for? And then I suppose, Dan, you can tell us whether Marriott and Waikiki in particular ticks these boxes. Yeah, I think being able to fit a few people in one room is, yep. a really, is a really important thing. I think being able to just go down the road, be amongst the hustle and bustle. Yep. I think some good nature, to be able to get out in nature and shopping and things to do. Fantastic. What do you think? <laughs> ticks all those boxes. Um, <laughs> so families... Uh, you know, this is always a tough one, but uh, trying to fit a, a large family into a hotel room. For this particular hotel, they do allow two adults and up to two kids age 17. So that's, uh, you can give it some pretty big 17-year-olds, so it's a good <laughs> space in there. Um, for anyone who's got a larger family, I'd probably suggest uh, either looking at requesting an interconnecting room. We do have another Waikiki property coming up in the short term that'll be in a more of an apartment style, so a bit more room if you've got three or four or more kids um, and you want to travel as a family. So. Fantastic. Now, as, as we said, um, Hawaii's been very much requested and we heard a lot about it at the recent Sydney Roadshow. So it is exciting to, to talk about that. Uh, the Marriott in Waikiki is launching tomorrow. Um, it's uh, $1,499 per person, valued at just over $6,000 and it's an eight night stay. So jump all over that, as I said, live tomorrow. Um, now, I should... Um, preface some of the other things we're going to talk about today before we get into this awesome deal uh, for the Ritz-Carlton in Dubai and then of course over to Phuket. But next week uh, we're delighted to talk about and announce uh, that Series 2 of the Luxury Escapes television show is live on, on Channel 7, so that's on Saturday, uh, July the 29th. And the team, um, including our host Shane Jolly and our new host Sophie Faulkner, will be at some of the world's most illustrious resorts and some of the most beautiful destinations, including we do step over to the US and check out uh, Beverly Hills, in fact, and then down to Mexico, one of my favorite places, and stay in one of the all-time great hotels. So check out that on Channel 7 shortly. But Hazel, I'd mm -hmm. love to chat to you now about Dubai and this mm. beautiful Ritz-Carlton property. Tell us all about it. Um, Dubai generally is as I said before, it's really, really surprising. Um, my impression before I visited was um, it's just going to be super hot and uncomfortable and, you know, you hear about the shopping and that's not really my thing. But yeah. um, when I got there, it, everything is air-conditioned, basically. So it's very comfortable anywhere you go inside the <laughs> restaurants. And, I mean, undercover, as you're walking from one place to another, they've managed to create this... It is an oasis the in the desert, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. It's, it's crazy, and the architecture is really, really impressive. Um, there's still a lot of construction going on, but it's really not as obtrusive as I thought it was going to be. Um, my most surprising aspect was the water. Like, everything faces out into this ocean, and for me, I've only ever seen the cityscape. Yeah, so, wow. 
yeah, just the location of, of where it's right on the water is, is something that I wasn't expecting. What's it like as a beach? I mean, we just spoke about <laughs> Hawaii. Yeah. What, is, what is it like? This Ritz-Carlton um, property looks gorgeous and obviously... Uh, whoops, there goes, there goes our, the uh, our little coconut. <laughs> um, tell us about the beach and, and the swimming experience. Uh, the beaches there, they've done a really good job of actually creating man-made beaches in front of properties. Yeah, so the beaches are stretched out and they go on and on and on. And a lot of the properties, the beachfront properties in particular, are creating um, a really clean and very usable section of beach. So right. although it's not you know, Australia's beaches where they're natural yep. wonders, um, they've created an absolute replica of a fantastic beach experience alongside the luxury of the hotels overspilling obviously with the lounges and yep. the services and you know bringing water and drinks to your Huge to your deck chair well the swimming pools, swimming pools. The swimming pools are massive yeah and and what about the service so you, you just spoke, you spoke about yep. uh, services on the beach can i get a, a fairly crisp looking cocktail there when i'm by the beach yeah well <laughs> The service is next level. Yeah. I actually haven't heard that about Dubai. Travelled many places that have exceeded it. That it's a pleasure to be hosted, and the quality is really, really up there in terms of location. You know, you compare different places that have been doing it for years and years and years, and you forget how young Dubai is just as a city. And they've really nailed it. Really have in the service quality for sure. Ashley, now you're speaking to a lot of our customers on the phone, and uh, they're obviously and, and no doubt talking about some of the destinations they want to go to, as well as the destinations that we're currently supporting we can offer them. What are you hearing about Dubai? Are people excited about it as a destination? Yeah, people have always been excited about Dubai as a stopover on the way to Europe. A lot of people are booking their Europe flights now, so yeah. they're looking into their Dubai stopover. But also I'm getting quite a few people more and more going as a family or going as a couple there as a holiday destination. Fantastic. With, um, with that Ritz-Carlton yeah, Dubai, it's, yeah, it's got travel all the way through to September next year. So for people who are forward planning and looking at those European holidays now, this is a great option to um, purchase the holiday now. You don't have to necessarily choose your dates, but you can at least buy the holiday and know you've got an amazing deal. And once you've worked out your, uh, I guess, the rest of your European itinerary, or you may just want to go to Dubai and come home, which lots of people do, um, you can book that all in at a later date, which is, uh, I guess, a really unique feature for, um, for buying a holiday. Yeah, really good point, Dan. I think that... Um a lot of people don't actually realise that with luxury escapes you can either pick your dates now and uh, just decide when you want to travel and obviously have that locked away, uh, but you can also just get excited by the by the offer that luxury escapes has, has brought to you. Buy it now and then set set some dates aside at a later date, have a chat to whoever you need to have a chat to and then come to a conclusion at a later date, so that's pretty cool. One of, one of the other things with this property is it's a Ritz-Carlton Hotel. So for anyone who stayed at a Ritz-Carlton Hotel will probably understand that the level of service in addition mm. to, the, to the high level you get in Dubai, this is next level again. So Ritz-Carlton is, um, is what's considered the premium brand for the Marriott Group. So very, very high quality of service, high quality of food and beverage. And this particular offer includes access to their club lounge all day. Yeah, wow, great. So you're talking... What do I get? You, you get a lot. <laughs> a lot. You're getting five servings of food per day. Yep. So that's everything from canapes to after dinner chocolates to... to Mid-morning like snacks, mid snacks, sandwiches. <laughs> They open the bar from twelve every day, so yep. that's and that's that's uh, that's uh, full service cocktails, um, airs, wine, French champagne. So that's from twelve to ten every day. And if you just want a nice place to chill out and hang, and uh, and I guess uh, something a little bit different than, than shopping and swimming, you can uh, hang out in their club lounge and um, make the most of your day there. Amazing! Check that one out, everyone. That's on the site right now, luxuryscapes.com, or of course, uh, call our. Our uh, travel concierge team on 1300-889900. Now, we will just jump back uh, to the Marriott in Waikiki because we heard a question from Sarah Cook. So thank you, Sarah. Uh, does the room occupancy at the Waikiki, Waikiki Marriott include babies? Uh, I have three kids, but one is under two, and we would want a cot, not a bed, for him. Now, Sarah, I'll see if Dan knows the answer to this question now. He may not, <laughs> but if he doesn't, we will absolutely respond to you via the comments section on Facebook. So we'll get back to you very shortly. But, Dan, I know I'm putting you on the spot you here. On the spot, um, do we know the answer? I might have to phone a friend on the <laughs> okay. No worries. I'll come back at a later date. But I, I think... Um, We'll, uh, we'll let Sarah know uh, following this. All right, fantastic, Sarah, we'll get back to you. So, all right, now we're gonna talk about our final offer for the day. And uh, this is just an extraordinary price point for a really beautiful experience in a great part of the world. Um, 
We speak about Thailand a lot. It's a favourite on luxury escapes. Um, Hazel, just give us a sneak peek into Diamond Cliff in Phuket. Um, well, I actually haven't been to Diamond Cliff itself, um, but Phuket is one of those places where you've got quiet pockets and then you've got busy. So if, yeah. you posi- if you're, it depends what you want on your vacation. And this is something that we do talk to our customers quite a lot about when they're looking at an offer. And this one is a great price point, as you mentioned, but it's really about the customer deciding what they actually want from their vacation in the first place. Yeah. If you're wanting uh, something more relaxing and chilled and slightly off the beaten track, then we likely can recommend something amazing. Um, if you're wanting something right in the thick of things, in the hustle bustle, we tend to have a lot of properties that suit that as yeah. well. So, um, whereabouts is Diamond Cliff? Has anyone been to yeah, that one? I've, You've been, I've, haven't you? I've been near it. Uh, <laughs> I, so, Diamond Cliff is, is located pretty close to Phuket. So, yeah. you're talking maybe a 10, 10 minute drive max into the heart of, sorry, into the heart of Patong. The heart of oh, Patong, okay. So it's it's uh, it's on the cliffside leading into Patong Beach. So that's a great position. It, then. it kind of covers both those yeah. bases you're talking about from a, um, I guess, a heart of the action, but still being let a little bit removed. So nightclubs, restaurants, bars, shopping, all that sort of stuff's right there on your doorstep. Um, but then you can come back to this beautiful um, traditional Thai style resort mm. at the end of the day to chill out. I think that would suit me actually, because I, I like to have the option to go out and eat and maybe have a beer or three or four. Um, and Patong, if anyone has ever heard of Patong, it can be really hectic. Um, so yeah, actually being able to retreat and come back and have that relaxation would suit me. So uh, I might check that one out. I think there will be some massages included in that. Yeah, to, to yeah I think it's pretty good well. for a, uh, a relaxing trip. I'm watching mm. some of the footage uh, behind you guys as you're chatting and Good looking swimming pool, amazing views, mm-hmm. clearly close to the shopping and uh, a pretty incredible cliffside location. So maybe the four mm. of us could jump off there uh, tomorrow <laughs> and uh, nine, nine, nine for two. just, just would... get, get rid of this uh, Melbourne winter. <laughs> We've actually had quite a few people spending two weeks in, in Thailand, two weeks in Phuket and they'll go seven nights up in Kalak where yep. a few of our other deals are and then seven a bit more amongst the hustle and bustle in Patong. So it's good to do a bit of a combo. Yeah, fantastic. That's a great way to do it. Yeah. Mm. And pretty easy to get between those two places, right? An hour's drive, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. All right, so that uh, that extraordinary offer is valid for Diamond Cliff, which is obviously in Phuket. It's uh, just under $1,000, $999 for two people, uh, valued at just under $2,500. Amazingly, it's a seven-night stay with an enormous number of inclusions, beautiful drinks, amazing um, massages. There is a dinner experience there too. Um, and as we've, as we've spoken, Thailand's certainly a favourite of uh, some of our some of our travellers here at Luxury Escape. So let's finish off with a final question. Um, Hazel, out of these four deals, which one are you most excited about? If I told you you had to go on holidays tomorrow, which would be a fairly aggressive request, wouldn't it? Um, where would you pick out of these four and why? Um, honestly, I think I would go to Marriott Waikiki, yep. purely well, because it's Hawaii, okay. and I adore Hawaii. I've only been to Maui. I yep. haven't been to uh, the main island. There's a lot of, you know, the volcanoes and that ridiculous Jurassic Park yeah. aspect. I'm obsessed. You know, yep. I get the theme tune stuck in my head. Um, I would love to Dinosaurs go and explore. Dinosaurs don't actually exist. Don't ruin my world. <laughs> no, I would love to explore that because um, I think you mentioned before there's it's the only place on Earth that has four climates. Yeah, so, so right. in, in the Big Island in Good Hawaii, inside. they have snow, they have desert, they have tropical, and they have something else. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that would just, I mean, there's obviously a lot to explore there. Maui was a little bit quieter and more relaxed, and I got the road to Hana and all of that stuff and very localised yeah, experiences, but... Mary, I'd like to give that a crack for sure. Cool. Dan, where are you off to? There's four offers there. I'm probably going to cheat and do a round-the-world flight. <laughs> right. Um, It'd be a tough round-the-world flight smart. to arrange, but, jeez, oh, tell you with what. With our flights team here, you, you know, we can we can make magic happen. So between the four of those, I'll probably start in Bali, go to mm-hmm. Dubai. Yeah. Come <laughs> Good back, trip. Maybe then come back via Thailand somehow and end up in, uh, in Hawaii along the way as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> end up in Hawaii. Yeah. I like it. Ashley, where are you off to? Uh, Fairmont in Sanua because the weather yeah. in Bali is perfect at the moment. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right, well, this has been a uh, fantastic LA Live. Of course, we've always got wonderful offers, but today we've pan-picked these four. Uh, we're excited about them. We're sure you will be too. It's been a wonderful episode. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Ashley. It's been wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Pleasure. Mahalo. <laughs>